Hi guys, Vertis Education here with the HTML Web Programming Tutorial Series and in today's episode we're going to be continuing on with inputs inside of HTML. So over the past few videos, once again, we have been going over a whole bunch of different types of inputs and in this episode, I want to go over the last two of the main types of inputs. So the first of those is the drop down menu using the select tags uh, which you can see here. When I go ahead and click this little menu it gives us a choice and we can define those choices in HTML. And secondly we've got a submit button. Now these little buttons here can be used for uh, you know, just pretty much sending off a form to someone's email address or just collecting information and so on and so forth. However, in today's episode, we're not going to be showing you how to do that. I'm going to leave that until the JavaScript tutorial where we can actually implement that functionality. So let's just go ahead and get started. So you can see what we've been doing, what we're going to be doing in this episode. We're going to be making this drop down menu and we're also going to be making a basic submit button. So you can see the code here, so let's just quickly go over that. For the drop down menu, you can see I'm using the select tags and then inside of those select tags, you can see I've got my options listed in order. Option one is ham, option two is cheese, option three is bacon, and so on and so forth. So let's just quickly delete this and see if we can replicate it. So I'm just going to quickly delete that, refresh, and uh, let's get going. So whenever you're creating a drop down, what you got to do is use the select tags, as I said previously, open bracket, select, and then close bracket, select, uh, just like that. Now inside of here, as I said, we need to make our options for the user to choose from. If we leave it just like this, I'm pretty sure it won't show up or it simply won't give us any options. So let's just go ahead and put some options in there. To do that, what you're going to do is have two little, uh, you know, a pair of tags for option. So just type that in, option, and then just make a partnering uh, option tag to go inside of it just like that now inside of this in between here we can actually set what the user will see for that option so here I could set this to ham go ahead and save refresh and you can see that's now the option uh, just like that now we also need to define the value for what the form will actually receive when they've chosen uh, that specific option so to do that just go ahead and type in value equals and then whatever you want the form or whatever kind of data you want to be received so in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and set that to ham you know just so it's right so we can also make a whole bunch of different options for if we want to do we can make just one option we can make two three four five six and so on so I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and make a couple of these just by copying and pasting it and I'm just going to go ahead and type in a few different values. So make sure whenever you are changing these, if you do copy and paste, make sure you do change both the value and what's in between the tags here. So just keep that in mind. So you can see here, uh, when I go ahead and refresh in a second, uh, tomato, and set this in here, it will show up all of these options. So I probably haven't smelt, I haven't spelt that right, I'll take care of that in a second. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and refresh, and you can see we've got ham, cheese, and tomato here, and then ham twice again. And you can see that these are listed in order, so whatever I put at the top, it's going to be at the top of the menu, and, what, and you know, it'll be following it down subsequently. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about drop down menus in HTML for now. So let's just move on to the uh, the button for submit. Now let's just go ahead and delete that. I'm going to refresh and once again we'll try to replicate it. So uh, this time we're going to be using an input tag. So just you, you only need the one, not two. So input and then inside of there as an attribute just set the type equals to and then just set that to submit and submit it's going to be your submit button so if we go ahead and refresh 
you can now see that we've got the button down here. Now as of right now it does not have any functionality as I said. Also if we want to we can even set a value for the submit button. In most cases you probably won't need to as it's just going to have straight up functionality from uh, JavaScript. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to submit as well but that's pretty much everything you need to know about a submit button until I go over it in more detail in the JavaScript series. Anyway that's pretty much everything in this tutorial. We've gone over um, drop down menus, how to set different uh, options, the values and so on. We've also shown you how to make submit buttons. That's pretty much everything for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.